How you doing? I just wanted to chat for a minute about pop culture. Something I've lived through. I was born, excuse me, I was born in 1970, so I literally experienced the 70s. Well, the later half, the first half was a kind of a blur. But the second half of the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, and so on, right? Neon, the 80s were Neon, Miami Vice, MTV. It was awesome. MTV was the coolest. Back in the day when it first came out, oh yeah, it was the best. You had what? The bre you had Breakfast Club, Goonies. I mean, the movies were ridiculous. The music was ridiculous. A lot of one-hit wonders in the 80s, though. That was kind of weird. The 70s had a lot of really good albums and you know, epic albums and stuff. And then you'd have these one-hit wonders in the 70s. Literally just one song was, was good. Like, if you go back and a lot of these one-hit wonders, you buy their albums just crap most of their it's like oh, they just got lucky with one song that's nothing wrong with that it was good there's some good one hit wonders awesome rock me on with Deus, always you know you know they might have done some other stuff i don't know 99 red balloons you know it's, it was good stuff man i loved it the music the movies <sighs> i was deflowered in the 80s I was 16, she was 18. Scott's Flat Lake. I'm telling you, women are so amazing. From the jump street. She was so sweet. Seriously, it was like it was like an older woman. She was 18. I was 16. She was an older woman. It was amazing. Anyway. A blonde too. <laughs> um sorry, I got distracted for a second. Ago. Reminiscing. Good times. Um, movies. Great. I love movies. Some of the best movies ever. You can't watch them now because the, the communist Marxist brigade that actually monitors your television and your internet don't like that. Like Blazing Saddles. I heard Blazing Saddles was being re-edited for television. <laughs> So, uh, so you get to see five minutes of the movie. Great. That is a classic too, man. But here's the funny thing about humor. See here. That's what it is, ladies and gentlemen, especially you young folk that, that were just brainwashed like crazy, these, these government schools. Um, humor. Self self-deprecation you make fun of yourself you make fun of others it's not like you do the dozens when we're you you're a city kid you do the dozens you talk shit about somebody's mama you tell them your mama's so big that her you know that her that her waist is an equator you know just talking shit you know you that's but you you know you develop skin you know you get thick you don't, don't take stuff personally you just it's you laugh it off it's a joke it's funny you make fun of other people, especially ignorant stuff like the KKK and shit like that. You make fun Nazis. You gotta make fun of them because because it's just you have to, right? And that's what they do. <laughs> Plays and Saddles makes fun of the ignorance of racism. It doesn't celebrate racism. It doesn't promote it. It makes fun of it, and it, it is literally the funniest. And the gentleman that plays. I can't even, I can't think of his name right now. The African-American actor that plays the sheriff of Rock Ridge. He is an absolute genius. I mean, who's was the other guy with it? was Gene Wilder. He's just pretty famous. But yeah, he was, he, he, that was probably next to Cisco Kid. I love that movie. That was with Harrison Ford. It's a cowboy movie. Um, Gene, Gene Wilder played a Jew who had to go in this town and face a bully for his woman and Harrison Ford was a cowboy you kind of had to teach him how to be a cowboy it's funny good movie but anyway um yeah the, this guy gosh I can't, it sucks that I don't know his name right now but literally if you watch the movie guy's genius it's comedic genius it's timing it's it's the response 
when he when he first rides into Rockridge and they're all having the banners and they're like the new sheriff, yay! And then you have that old dude at the lookout and he's just yelling at him, telling him it's on, and they can't hit his. I'm telling you, it's humor. And the best part is they end up kissing his ass because they really love him, but they couldn't tell people they loved him, like this old lady that gives him a pie. And she's all, um, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't tell anybody I gave you the pie, right? It's like, it's genius, man. It's comedy. Saturday Night Live, that's what I loved about Saturday Night Eddie Murphy, he was genius. They were all geniuses. It was, they didn't give a shit. They weren't politically correct. They could do what they want. Oh, I loved them. You gotta go back, watch the old Saturday Night Live. Some of it's kind of stupid. They had some stupid skits, I'm not gonna lie. Some of the skits were kind of, they were all on coke. They were all smoking weed, which is not a problem, but they were all coked out. That was the problem, coke. They were all doing blow, and they were all, yeah, yeah, you could tell in the skits, but at the same time, they're all, they're geniuses. They're all doing their thing, and they're vibing off each other. Anywho. I digress. It was a, it was genius. Nowadays, everybody's so scared of their own shadow. You can't have fun. You can't be. You know what I mean? Everybody's wa a walking diamond making factory. Put a stick of coal, piece of coal at somebody's butt, and we can get a diamond. That's how tight people are. That's why they're diamond factories. Everybody's just walking around with their butt all up, butt cheeks all crunched up. And, oh. Take a bubble bath, people. Relax. Find humor. I find humor sexy as hell. Girl I'm crushing on right now, lady, sorry, goddess. She knows who I mentioned her in a video. She's funny. I I that's what that's what attracted me. I was like I didn't I saw hands. She just threw out cards and she'd talk and she was very. It's timing. It's it's instinct it's comedy is very and there's another thing I wanted to say about comedy you have to be a genius most people don't understand comedians that what most people do not understand about comedians is most of them are savants most of them are, are they're geniuses literally uh, so high functioning autistic all of them you have to be you have to be really intelligent to be funny to be really funny Robin Williams was a genius straight up and he was funny um, but it's your your mind has to be sharp you have to be able to you know boring people aren't funny you know who they are they're just there's nothing funny about them their their mood everything you know comedians are special anyway this this lady I'm crushing on she's really funny and I find that very very attractive I mean somebody that makes me feel better just by making me laugh and on top of that they're a goddess and please Forget about it. It's like, that's like Dharma and Greg. Dharma was adorable. She was hot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jenna Elfman or whatever her name is. She's she's hot. She's very tall for a woman. I love that. Anyway, I'm six one, so I can deal with the tall woman. But yeah, just beautiful and funny. I hate dull women, and I'm sorry. I've I've dated them. I've dated women that were just not funny. I was, I, but I made them laugh. But yeah, they didn't make me laugh. I like funny. I think funny is sexy. I think people need to get back into funny. Find your funny. Find your humor. Watch old movies unedited. If you can find them anymore. I don't know. The Nazi patrol has deleted everything, right? Anywho. I love you guys. Rock in the 80s. 70s music too. I'm telling you, the 70s had some of the best music ever. My, the year I was born, Deja Vu, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, who else? On fire, speaking of fire, Jimi Hendrix was on fire, there's a lot, of, just look at the music of 1970 itself and you'll be amazed, and from 70 to 80 it was just ridiculous. You got into punk rock and all that other stuff, but yeah, it's all awesome. But 70s music, it just, I'm talking about like feel good, Make you feel good music. 70s is a very high vibration music, a lot of it is. Because a lot of it's about love and affection and attention and yeah, yeah. And we, the world, you know, the world, healing the world. It's kind of like after the 60s when people start like come down from all their psychedelics and they still want to kind of 
they're still vibing. They're still drinking beer and smoking weed, but they're kind of more focused. And they can go kind of like, hey, let's get, make it a better world, right? They had a commercial, the Coca-Cola commercial, where they had people like, you know, holding hands. And um, there's an old commercial about that. Anyway, yeah. And like I said, racism is bullshit. You can't judge an entire group of individuals based on a few ignorant cunts. Pardon my French. But that's it. There's a few assholes out there of all races. Assholes. It's individual. It's the spirit. That's what's corrupt. That's what's bad. You either have a good spirit or a bad spirit. Good heart or bad heart. You're a light heart or you're a dark heart. You know, color don't matter. Just your attitude and your spirit. 